welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And my channel is a mix of styling advice and education, really. So on the one hand, I'm a teacher, so I teach people how to become personal stylists. We also do that with our international online courses, so you can train with us to become a personal stylist or you could do an online course which is focused on the individual and teaching the individual how to dress for their particular body shape. But I also do YouTube as well where we get people into the studio and this is ladies of all different shapes and sizes and we do what we call a body shape masterclass on them and that is where we put their figures back into an hourglass shape and show you why we're picking certain clothes for different type of body shapes and there's actually one of those coming up next week so we've got I think uh, UK size 16 to 18 I know she needs help with her tummy area and I believe she's heavier around her bottom and her thigh so that will be coming next Sunday but this week's video is an Amazon video so everything that you see today has been bought from Amazon and we have sifted through all of the um, rubbish for want of a better word um, that we found there's a lot of stuff that has arrived that was too small too big just not good quality at all but we're just going to show you the really really good bits today we did find a lot of nice pieces especially just for casual relaxing sort of days really just like this ad outfit that i've got on right now we've also looked at the accessories for you as well so Things like nice sunglasses, we've got chains here as well. So I'll talk you through each one. Everything will be linked for you. So you go to the title where the video plays and you go under the title, that's called the description box. And in there will be a link. Click that link, it takes you to a board and the board will show you all of the items that I have shown you today. You click on the item that you like and it will take you straight to Amazon so you can purchase it if you want to. We'll also try and include the sizes as well on that board, so look out for those as well. Okay, but outfit number one then, this great jacket. I could see this working really well on a lot of people. It's got a drawstring so you could nip yourself in more at the waist here. Got a really nice quality knitted top there. So the fact that it's knitted just gives it texture and it just makes it feel a little bit more elevated, but still the overall look is very casual. Um, these trousers are great. I would say in the five minutes that I've had them on, they have stretched quite considerably. So when I first put them on, they were really tight across my thighs. I did my old trick of sort of putting my hand down and pulling them a little bit, but they have given. So I'd say if you are in between sizes on these, you could afford to size down rather than size up. And then the shoes. So I've shown these before, but I've shown them in the brown leather. These are in the sort of gold pewtery type of colour, if that's the right word. So that's quite nice because it's not as heavy as the brown, darker leather. And that means that it mixes in really nicely with creams and lighter colours, which hopefully, no doubt, you'll be wearing in the summer months. Great bag as well. A basket bag is brilliant for dressing down an outfit, but being sizable enough to still be practical. So yeah, really liking that whole outfit. Okay, so I have kept the same trousers on. I have just changed the top. Now this top is brilliant if you have got a big stomach or if you are quite rectangular through the midsection or you have got a very short stomach. Can you see how the big, it's not even a waistband, it's just a tighter part of the jumper like that. So when you've got a tighter bit like that, you get a bag over it. Can you see that? So by very definition of this bagging over a tighter section, it's going to make you look smaller 
around this waist section there. And I use this style of jumper on anybody who wants to cover up a bigger waist, or like I say, elongate a waist, or just create the illusion of curves. Look, if I just sort of take that away and just have it as a baggy jumper, then that's what it looks like. So it's going straight from being baggy into my thighs. When I pull it out, you can see that it's started to form over my hips and create more of a curved effect. So it's really, really good for that area. What it isn't any good for is if you have got a big bust because it's also got batwing arms. Batwing arms and a big bust will make you look broader, so avoid. I have got a jumper coming up that is good if you've got both a tummy and a big bust, but um, yeah, really nice. This is actually very similar to the Riche jumper and feels really lovely as well. I'm wearing it in a size medium. I've obviously got the hat on, so I just thought I would pop that on and show you. Amazon, obviously, again, but that's a really nice way of elevating an outfit. We've got a different style of bag for you. There we go and really nice. Oh, I've got two different shoes on, forgot to mention that. So on my right foot here, I have got a shoe which is very similar to the Vivea shoes, which are the knitted shoes, super, super soft, and I really do like those shoes, but this is the Amazon equivalent. I have to say it's not much difference at all. I'm sure probably the quality is better with Vivea. Um, however, I am impressed with those. So being knitted, you can stick them in the washing machine, you can take out the insole to wash it as well. They are really, really comfortable. I've gone true to size on that. But then on the other foot, I put the sandal. So just to show you that, again, because the shoes are a similar color, not exactly the same, so you don't have to have exactly the same, but just similar tones, it's all toning in with the outfit really nicely. And just to show you an alternative jumper that does work if you've got a big bust, it's this one. This feels really lovely and soft, and it's got some really nice sleeve detail there. Can you see how you've got quite a nice rib and then you've got the extra around the cuff? That's fine to have the extra around there as opposed to a bat wing if you've got um, big boobs. Um, as you can see, I'm also holding another one here. I'll just show you that from afar, the whole thing. It's a really nice cream colour, a good deep v-neck. I'm wearing it in a size small and I'm a UK 8 to 10 and I think that's about the right size for me. It feels a little bit oversized but not too much. So I'd say probably just stick to your proper size in it. But then I've also got this one as well which has got some pretty sleeve detail on. This one is slightly more whitey cream where this is more of a yellowy cream if that helps anyone. Okay, so just before I show you the dress that I've got on, I just thought I'd give you a close-up on the shoes. So they are the Espadrill platform sandals that are really very, very comfortable. And there's another pair of shoes that I'm going to be putting on with this dress right now. And that's just your classic flat tan sliders. Again, comfortable. They've all got this padded sole and a lot of the expensive designer ones of the same shape don't have that. They have like a leather sole and it's really hard going on your feet. So I definitely recommend Amazon shoes. Okay, so the next outfit is actually very exciting. If you have been following me for a while now, you will know that one of the really early on Body Shape Masterclasses where I was teaching you what to wear for your body shape, um, and particularly for ladies with a big stomach and big boobs, I showcased a dress like this. It was from Whistles. It sold out, I think like by the thousands it sold out. And I haven't really been able to find something similar ever since until now. And it's Amazon. 
and it's really cheap so that is a bonus so here it is so this one just comes down to just above my knees I'm five foot three and a bit just got it on with the brown sandals so I get a lot of you say that you don't want to wear layers you live in a hot country we have a lot of you over in America in Mexico and you say that you can't wear the layers in the warm climate so what you need to do there is find just ideally one piece items that are a really cool fabric that is going to do all the work for you so the shape of the dress puts you back into an hourglass shape and that's exactly what this does for a lot of people so you've got the pin tucks here on the arms so remembering you need that if you've got a big bust you need that if you've got a big stomach because you want to make yourself look broader than your tummy and your bust and then when you have broadened yourself here you need to make sure that you broaden yourself down the bottom as well so that your shoulders and the skirt part are the same width then anything in between your midsection your bust will look smaller for anybody who wants further help on that we have an online styling course where we take you through every single bit of your wardrobe your lifestyle your body shape and everything but um, I'll put a link in for that for you um, but this is brilliant for doing that for most people the only thing it's missing is pockets I'd like to have seen a little pocket in there definitely one thing I would say is I love the sleeves um, short enough to still be cool and the little bit of ruffles around there is usually very flattering if you've got a bigger arm because the ruffles are going to stick out more than your arm will however um, it's quite tight on me so I'm wearing a size small at the moment I'm a 34 C bust and I have got a little bit of room but I would say size up in this dress particularly if you've either got a big bust or you've got thicker arms so next we've got this really lovely jumpsuit ultra soft it comes in lots of different colors navy I think there was patterned as well but we will link it the only thing I would say is on me the crutch is hanging quite low so kind of a good sort of what three four inches below where it should be sitting so if you've got a longer body then this is going to be brilliant and I have to say even though the crutch is hanging down it is still really comfortable this is the type of outfit that I wear traveling or just running errands in the summer it's actually got a Prestered there so you can obviously do it up to save your modesty nice big thick strap so they are going to cover any bra straps I've got it on with just this bag again and those gold little flip-flops it comes at a good length on me so that's I'm five foot three and a bit and it's just hitting the ground which is where I would want it to be so the type of thing you need to look at to make sure that you don't make mistakes in these buying is if you are five foot eight for example you know it's going to come about sort of there on you so do you like it ankle grazing is it going to come mid calf and then it's going to be too small for you so that's the type of thing you need to make the assessment on yourself based on your body shape but like I say next week I've got another body shape masterclass with a UK 16 to 18 lady so you'll see lots of clothes then on her shape as well so next a navy blue jumpsuit again this comes in lots of different colorways as well it's got pockets it's got pockets at the side and on the bottom this is the tag by the way that you can see hanging off there and this is a size small it feels about right actually quite quite roomy sort of thing around there a little bit tighter on the top I would say actually on this one um, yeah quite narrow through the top half so if you're particularly big busted maybe go up a size but if you're pretty much balanced between top and the bottom then just stick to your normal side long sleeve here I've obviously just pushed them up but yeah a really good basic again a good traveling suit you just got to make sure when you've got a jumpsuit on you've got a really nice 
bra on because there will be times where you're sitting on the loo with your boobs hanging out and so need a nice bra on and that, that's about the only sort of disadvantage. Okay so next we've got something that we are loving here in the studio today so it's a beach cover-up dress but actually it's not that see-through so you could easily wear that just as a summer dress as you can see it's got the um, splits at the side there I've got it on with these chunkier sandals which are super comfortable like really really soft and usually I avoid an ankle strap for most people because it's going to make your legs look shorter basically um, but when it's in a tan or a lighter skin tone colour to suit your skin tone then you can get away with it but I, I never really wear a black thick ankle strap for example not on my legs anyway if you've got really long you know up to your backside type of legs then go for it um, but yeah this is really nice I've got it on with a hat again I'll just show you as well I've probably got um, hat hair now yeah I have but the hat is actually really good quality it's got the strings inside so you can just pull that and make it tighter um, not looser but certainly tighter I've got a really small head so I have to pull mine um, tight but yeah that is really nice buttons all the way up so I've got it on with a swimming costume at the moment and I wear the Hunza G swimming costumes. These are the costumes, I'll see if I can show you just a little bit of it. I don't want to stand here just in my swimming costume. Um, but the Hunza Gs are great because they are the crinkly fabric and it's just a one size fits all so whether you are a UK 6 or a UK 24 it doesn't matter it's one size and they stretch and they are super comfortable but this just plain cream one and it's got like the um, tortoise shell there is really nice but I'm sure probably there are copies out there now so if there are any on Amazon then we will link them for you I'll link the original Hunza G as well but I'll also see if we can find some dupes on Amazon for you but yeah very impressed with that dress it's one size fits all but I think realistically if you want to do it up then it probably fits up to maybe a size 16 to 18 uh, just holding these sunglasses again in my hand that is a nice way to finish it off so yeah really nice inexpensive holiday outfit good for any body shape so another jumpsuit for you navy again now this time you've got the round neck and you've got the um, sleeves on as well so the last one we did sleeveless so I'm trying to cover different variations of the same type of outfit but for different body shapes so this one is good for anybody that's got a big bust again it's quite tight on my arms but I do carry my weight a little bit on my arms anyway but kind of just a bit of an extra squeeze on there should be fine so I'm wearing this in a size small I think but I will check and I am writing all the sizes on the links board for you we've just got an amazon um, bag there as well and the brown sliders and it's just super comfy it was clinging initially to my calves and again i've got quite shapely calves from my cycling but i just gave it a bit of a pull <laughs> and when you do that you gain a little bit of extra width draws you in at the waist here it's got a waist tie so very flattering there again it's available in all different colors okay so next we've got this very pretty sundress it's got the cut out there on the back I haven't taken my bra off right now but I probably would although you can feed this strap round the back of your bra it's got pockets you know what I say about pockets we love a pocket but it does have a lot of volume on the skirt area so for me already being a little bit heavier around the bottom area I feel that it's too tight here and then sticks out too much 
but the type of person this is really good for is an apple shaped person who carries their weight around their midsection or somebody who is lacking a few curves and needs to broaden the bottom area basically if you're broad on top you need this type of dress because it will balance you out better. Um, the sleeves here will also make you look less broad on top as well. And you only have to pop a pair of sunglasses in there to help split that bust area up as well. It's like a brodery anglais type of fabric. The fact that it's got the pockets and the lovely detailing on the back mean that it's a really good buy for somebody. I've just got it on again with the Amazon little sandals. These, as I mentioned, they come in gold, in silver, in brown. We will link them, just click on the link and then that will get you to all the colour options as well. Pairing it with the basket bag, really nice little find there. Feels really good quality. So next we've got a very simple but just really nice classic outfit won't ever date, just looks nice and like you haven't tried too hard but you still kind of just look nice and put together and the reason for that is because you've got something that we call in the It Style Academy everyone needs a friend. So the colour of the shoes is matching in with the colour of the top and sometimes styling is just as simple as that. Two items of the same colourway at any one time and it will bring it together. So these trousers are from the Roxy brand but they are via Amazon as is everything else. But this top is actually the top to a tracksuit that I'm about to show you. So again just showing you how if you stick to neutral colours you can mix and match everything together. I think to point out here is I am um, more of a pear shape so it means I carry my weight more around my hip area but I've got quite a small waist here. So you would think, or the theory, if you watch anyone else's channel or read a book, is about not putting pockets there because that's going to make you look bigger. Now, they're kind of right, but at the same time, it's not. You can get the best fitting trousers for you in the world that make your hips look smaller. But if you don't then balance out your top half to match that, then it doesn't matter how good the trousers are, they still won't look right. So don't not pick a pair of trousers because they've got pockets here and you think they're gonna add volume. All you have to do is work harder at broadening this part out here. So with this outfit I would put in a shoulder pad in myself so like that and I would pop it in so the thin end is by my neckline and what that is going to do is broaden my shoulder and counteract any extra weight or fabric that is happening as a result of the design of the trousers. So can you see now how that shoulder now looks stronger than this one? The fact that it looks stronger means that I can wear the trousers with the pockets and it's not an issue. So this is the tracksuit bottoms that go with the top that I have just shown you. I've had to roll them up just by one at the bottom there because uh, they're slightly too long for me, but they are really, really comfortable. I'm wearing them in a size medium. They are available in every color. I really like this neutral color though for the summer months. Popping your sunglasses there will help to break that up a little bit as well. The waistband is really quite nice and high, but often what I do when this is really high and it doesn't suit a client, then I just fold that over by the entire width of the waistband and that reproportions people who maybe are short-waisted or that the high-waisted trouser doesn't suit. So I've got an Air and Grace trainer on and that's because we couldn't find any nice white leather trainers to be honest with you on Amazon. We tried a lot of them and they were all quite cheap looking so I've reverted back to my Air and Graces that are super comfortable and that actually are now out in a platform version. And next we've got something completely different, this 
gorgeous zesty orange play suit so it's an all-in-one so as you can see it comes in under the waist here or around the waist and then this extra layer is just an extra baggy layer over the top so that's actually really good if you're trying to cover up a stomach underneath there but it's still going to keep you really cool in the summer months it doesn't have pockets I'm only just noticing that now as I went to do that split the area up with um, some sunglasses and then I have got something here which I've probably spoke about a million times so I do apologize if you've um, heard me say this but this is what I use every year to hold my hat in place so when you're traveling or anything you don't want your hat in the luggage then just get a clip like this again from Amazon I'll link it for you and it's magnetic like that and then you just open it up and pop your hat in like that and that will hold your hat in place until you want to wear it one thing with this suit it comes with an extra ribbon tie and I've been trying to work out where that goes you could obviously just put it round your waist like that and let it hang down but I can't really see the massive advantage of that so the only thing I thought you could do if you want to create more shape in your waist you could tie that like that then pull over the top baggy bit and that will shape your waist a little bit more there we go so now I've almost changed the style up a little bit to give me more of that waist shape but then you can just pull it out if you've had a big meal and you want to hide that stomach so they come in all different colors I will link them for you oh sorry Monty has settled his head on the tripod of the camera so if it starts wobbling again it's him not me okay so what have we got on here we've got on just a really cool throw on shirt obviously from amazon this is really quite sweet it's kind of got um little tufts on for want of a better word the fact that it's got the brown buttons on meant that it goes quite nicely with this crocheted set that I've got on so this is a matching set it does come in cream as well although I think the cream was out of stock in my size um really nice wide leg crop top which I know isn't going to be for everybody but this bit of your waist is usually the smallest and when you put a shirt over it like this it's not so exposing like you've got your stomach out so give it a try you might actually surprise yourself that you can wear this sort of combination together the only thing I can't quite get my head around is if it was a really hot day would I want to be in a thick crocheted trouser and the answer is probably no but if I was going to like somebody's barbecue in the evening or is on holiday or something where it just gets a little bit nippier then they would be great for that this particular pair as well I think they're lined sorry excuse me one minute whilst I check um, yes they are they're lined to the knee so they feel even thicker because of that but I've seen a lot around in the shops that aren't lined so perhaps if you live in a really warm country don't go for the lined ones just go for the thinner crochet but yes a nice stylish option for a nice summer's day I just turned the camera off and then had another thought obviously with a shirt like this you could wear it like that so all I've done is knotted the shirt and then I've just done the one button up there I should have said as well that this shirt is really nice over a swimming costume let me just go back and show you the length of it so it is long enough that it's going to cover your bottom there's nothing worse is there walking around a sort of a swimming pool environment with your bottom hanging out so that's good but it's still a light and airy as well so yeah a really versatile sh shirt there we will link everything for you so next up we've got this very simple yet very wearable and usable uh, t-shirt it feels really nice I don't know if it's maybe a modal mix let me see for you 
it's polyester, rayon and spandex. So that's probably the rayon and the spandex there are what's making it feel really nice and soft. But this is great for broadening everybody out. Now just be mindful that if you've got a big bust you do not want this high neckline, you want that as well as a low neckline. And I've got it paired on with a pair of trousers that I don't think particularly flatter my body shape and that's because they've got these big pleats here around the hip and the thigh area, well, the thigh area really. Now that is brilliant for anybody who has got a big tummy and a big bust, small thin legs and they they feel really broad on top. This is exactly the type of pant that you want because that's going to add the volume. But on somebody like myself that is already a pear shape, then that's going to make me feel bigger than I am. It's saved a little bit by the nice waistband here. That's incredibly comfortable but also incredibly flat if you've got a big tummy because that's going to help draw everything in and because it's going to be tighter here it's going to create shape if you put it with a slightly baggier top. So a good combination for a lot of people just not necessarily for my shape. Now one solution if you've got a pair of trousers that isn't particularly flattering around here is to layer them up. And so we've got this blazer from Amazon obviously which now helps to reshape that on me. So the fact that this is broadening me is hidden a little bit now by that blazer. And in terms of this blazer, um, it came really creased for a start, so it needed a really good iron. Is it the best of qualities? No. But um, is it a decent price? Yes. And it's the sort that you could throw into your suitcase or, you know, if you got a stain and you had to put it through the wash, then I'm sure it would be fine. I'm just having a look. It's polyester and spandex. So no, it's not the, the best in terms of quality. And if you don't have to wear a blazer very often and you just need one, you know, to finish a little outfit off, but you don't have much of a budget, then it's absolutely perfect. Okay, bringing back the jacket again. I really like this jacket. I think it's a great color. They do it in the khaki green. This sort of utility jacket never really goes out of fashion. And the benefit of this one is that you've got a pulley there, so you can create a waist. It's got the lapels here on the shoulder, so that's going to help broaden us. The very fact that the collar sticks up and out broadens us. This will split the bus line up. So it's all of these details that will help balance out somebody's frame. And often somebody will just then stop at the jacket because the jacket's doing the right thing on top but then you have to then continue down the bottom as well it's not just in style and it's not just about the one piece it's about the entire look so now i've just got a really casual pair of trousers on ankle grazers as well a little bit of a straight maybe even a little kick out there i think in these trousers a white trainer, again they're from Air and Grace, they're not from Amazon um, unfortunately and I've kept on the white flutter t-shirt as well so I think that's just a really nice easy look and it would look just as nice if I took the jacket off as well. And another alternative to just a plain white t-shirt is obviously a striped top and this one feels really soft and really lovely. It's very similar to the Zara one that they do every year but slightly thicker actually and I would actually say better quality as well. So this is great for broadening the shoulder area. Just be mindful if you've got a big bust you do not want this neckline, you want a lower neckline than that. But that is a really nice jumper as well, we'll link everything for you. So that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. If you could press that subscribe button we would be really grateful and if you want to see more daily tips and outfit inspirations on body shape, on lifestyle dressing etc or for the everyday woman then if you go over to Instagram then I'm on that sort of everyday sharing links for things that I find for you and just doing other 
stupid behind the scenes type of stuff but it would be great to see you over there so come over and say hello to me and then if anybody is interested in doing one of our personal styling courses we are having rave reviews and that sounds incredibly big-headed but to be honest with you I'm very very proud of these courses the team has been working incredibly hard for the last year on them so I will see you again next week with a body shape masterclass with a lady who is a UK size 16 18. Thank you for watching. Bye.